Hi, welcome to my channel. I've lost 180 pounds with keto, carnivore, and counting calories. Don't forget to check the description to this video. I have links to some of my popular videos, a link to my Amazon account for a lot of things that you all ask about. Don't forget I have a bunch of playlists on the homepage of this channel. Thank you. One of the things that I'm gonna do today is crock pot some pork. I'm going to do it right in here. This is going to be pork that I can take in my um, in my breakfast bowls. You know, I'll be able to, I could put it like in small portions and then I could just grab one and pull it out of the freezer. But I want to go on and cook it. So I'm going to put it in my crock pot. And every hour I will come in and I'll chop it up with, with this. I'll put it on, I'll cover it up. It's on low. Don't lecture me about the plastic container because I don't care. Or well, you can lecture me, just know I'll just click the like button and move on. Because um, I'm all about whatever's making my life easier on me a prep day. So, there we go. Oh, I didn't add any water. I don't know. Sausage, I may not need much water, but let me just add a little bit of water to it. Typically, I add water whenever I crock pot my meats. Usually, I am using the leftover broth for the dogs. Um, we'll see what happens with this one. So, there we go. I'll get back to you. Every hour, I come in. It's on low. Every hour, I come in and I chop it up. It has been one hour. And I am going to chop up my sausage. So I just come in every hour and I do this. Now you can feel free to season up your meat. I do this with any ground meat. I do this with chicken. I do it with pork. I do it with ground beef. I do it with all kinds of ground meat. Also, the reason why I like to add water to it, it kind of helps distribute the heat. It helps, um, it helps keep it from burning to the insides of my crock pot. Um, even it helps it not burn as much to the plastic. So, yep, it's warm. So, every hour I come in and I do this. And you'll know when it's done. Like right now it's still real PC and it's got, you know, it's just not cooked, it still looks raw. So, usually most things take about four hours and I've got it on low. And like I said, I'll come chop it every hour. So it's time to chop up our stuff again. I've done this multiple times already. I would guesstimate this is like the third or fourth time. I don't know. I think I probably started around 6.30ish. And it is 9.45, so it's probably been three hours. Maybe four. I don't see any more pink in it, but it still seems a little bit softish. So I'm gonna let it go another hour, but I just come in and do this every hour and chop it up. And uh, pork is not overly fatty in the sense of when I do this, like when I do 73% ground beef, there's tons of it in here, tons of you know rendered fat in here. But pork doesn't seem to have that as much, at least the one that I get for this. So, uh, I mean, you can see the, the water is absorbed pretty well. Usually with the 73% ground beef one, oh, it's well over the meat itself by the time I get here between the water I add and the rendered fat. So I'm going to let this go a little longer. Like I said, if you want to season yours, go right ahead. I just don't. So that way I can do whatever I want to when I want to do it. 
So we'll come back in an hour and it should be ready to portion out. The reason why I chop it up every hour is so it doesn't become one big hard meatloaf. That would be fine if I wanted a meatloaf, but I don't. I want it to be in broken up um, ground pieces so that way I can, you know, chop it up and use it for various things. So, all right, see you in one hour. Okay, the sausage is done. Something I want to do, I want to be able to do is, I want to be able to freeze it, but I also want to be able to pull some out and know that it can defrost, and then I will be able to put some in my eggs to take to work. So I don't want to put it in a whole bunch of little Ziploc bags or a bunch of little containers because I don't, you know, that's going to take up more space. Whereas if I put it in something like this, I can pull a container out and that will be maybe enough for a week or so. So again, don't lecture me about this plastic because it's falling on deaf ears. So I'm just going to scoop some out and then I will label these <coughs> as, uh, it's not sausage, it's pork, but I'll label it as breakfast pork or something, ground pork. So then that way I know I could pull one out and I can use this for my breakfast. I might put breakfast pork or something like that. But like I said, I will freeze them. And then that way, what I do is I will, um, uh, you know, I'll pull them out whenever I want to use them. No, no rush or no pressure. I don't have to use them fast. I can take my time in pulling them out. Um, but I will have them frozen. Um, and ready to go to use in my Suzanne breakfast. So this I could pull out and that might, I don't know, it might be enough for three, four, or for a week. It's probably seven, six to seven days. Might be a little bit more than what I, you know, should use in a week. We'll just kind of do it like this and see what we think. <clears throat> I can always pull it out and then when it defrosts, I can refreeze it. On here. Now with these bags, oftentimes there's a case where the bag will get a little tear in it because, you know, I'm going in and scraping every hour. So, uh, and that's okay. It's not a big deal. Um, so what I sometimes just do is pour this liquid down in the in the container and I carry this over to here <clears throat> or I mean pour the liquid down in my crock pot and then <clears throat> then I pull this out of the way and I set this here and I'm not going to worry there might be a little bit of the pork pieces down in there that's okay so now I'm just going to pour this down in there, those little pork bites. So you could use that as a broth. If you want a pork broth, that'd be a really good pork broth. You can add more water to it. You know, you could sip on this in the winter time, you know, or, you know, if you're fasting, I don't know, whatever people use broth for. It's not bone broth, it's, I guess you'd call it meat broth. <laughs> so, there is that. So, you know, I can add some more. I could water it down if I wanted to, to kind of strain it out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it sit and I'm going to let the fat, well, all the fat collect to the top. And then I'll pop that out and I can make, I can add it to my fatty dog treats. I am now going to do some ground beef. Hold on. These are still partially frozen and I got another bag in there. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and put these in. Hopefully, they will fit. Yeah, I'm thinking, I don't know. Might have to do a little work on them. Hang on. Okay, I've got the smaller or the bigger crock pot. Let's see if we can get these to fit in here. I don't know for sure, but we're sure going to try it. 
Yeah, they'll fit. <clears throat> this is four and a half and four and a half, so nine pounds of ground beef. This is the 73% ground beef. <clears throat> and uh, we're gonna get this going. Let's see, let me wash my hands here. Okay, so I'm gonna put the lid on it. And just like before, I'll set a cat Ziggy crock pot timer one hour. You already have a timer called crock pot. Ziggy, Ziggy, cancel crock pot timer. Crock pot timer canceled. Ziggy, crock pot timer one hour. Crock pot timer one hour. <clears throat> okay, so I will come in uh, and every hour and chop it up just like I did the the ground pork so i just did this this was the second hour and um, it was still pretty frozen but i just want you to see how it looks i've done this so many times so if you're old to my videos you're like yeah yeah we know we know but every hour you come in and you do this right here every hour and you know it's still gummy so you know it's definitely not done and it's not brown at all so um yeah, I will come in every hour and chop it up like that. All right, <clears throat> so I feel like our ground beef is done. I've come in every hour to chop it up with our chopper. And it's still got a little pinkness, which is good. That's why I like it. And uh, But that's because, you know, it's been boiling in a crock pot. Um, so... <clears throat> If you like your ground beef to be more, more brown, more dry, um, <clears throat> what I've done is like I will package it up in whatever container <clears throat> and then I will actually put it in a skillet and kind of saute it or, and fry it out so it kind of, it pulls that extra moisture out because this is basically just boiling your ground beef, which is fine. I like it. Um, but if that's something you want done different, then you can pull it out and do it that way. I have this bag of Normandy <clears throat> blend frozen veggies. And we are going to use this. We're going to do a lazy, this is what I call lazy meal prep. All we did was crock pot. And now we're just going to use these pre-cooked veggies. Um, a serving is 73, Ziggy, 73 times set 2. 73 times 2 is 146. Okay, so we'll do about 150 grams in each one. Let's see how much that looks like. All right, so because we're going to do two servings worth. So we're going to do that. Let's... I don't have enough of these containers, so in a minute we're going to switch over to just one container. I mean, like it's not, it's a non divided container. I have some other size non divided containers, but I don't care. This will work for me. So now what happens with these is. <clears throat> Um, you know, we do these just like we do everything else. We pull it out of the freezer and it defrosts for three, four days. By the time you get to it, everything is defrosted, the veggies and the meat. So then when you put it in the microwave, <clears throat> it's ready to go. So I again, I just like, just like my meat, I don't season these until the night before. Ooh, these are cold. I don't season these the night before because I don't want, um, I don't ever know what I'm gonna do with them. So let me reset my zero here. And we'll keep on, keep on keeping on. Whoa, way too much. So I'm going to put the vegetables in here. 
and then I will um, put the meat in here and then I'll freeze it all again. Well, the veggies will be being frozen. The meat will, well, it was in the freezer originally. There we go. It's a lot of ice crystals, but that's okay. It'll be fine. It'll be just fine. So now what we're going to do is we're going to zero out. We have to zero out each one, and we're going to add our ground beef. I want to add seven ounces. This is 73%. So... Switch it over to ounces. There we go. Seven ounces. And I'm also going to add some of the rendered fat slash um, broth. I'm going to add, this is about a fourth cup. So I'm going to add that back into it. And I will put this off to the side. And I have to zero out each one because each one weighs a little bit different. Okay. And I'm going to fill a fourth cup of liquid if I can get it. I could wait till I'm further along to do the fourth cup of liquid. A little more, just a smidge more. All right. Put some of the liquid here and some of the liquid on the veggies. All right, so that's what I'm going to do um, with these. And um, then we'll get them labeled, and I'll get back to you. Okay, for the rest of this, we have to, we're going to just use uh, plain containers. So I'll zero those out, and we're going to just do, well, again, we'll do seven ounces of meat, and then a fourth cup of liquid. All right, I'll keep doing that and I'll be back. Okay, we ended up with four of these extra ones, the ones that are um, just plain. So with these, these I would have a salad with them. Those I won't need a salad with them. Although sometimes by the time I get to the end of them, I'm like, oh my gosh, I just want a salad. And I have been known to pull the veggies out and throw them away. But, you know, it's all right. Oh, here's some. Couldn't find my lids. Um, and as usual, please feel free to post in the comments about how terrible plastic is for me. Feel free to let me know. I get a kick out of it. I'm not a purist um, at all. So, yeah. <clears throat> um, so that's what we got out of nine pounds of ground beef. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. So this is seven days worth of meals right here. And this is good because I've noticed earlier, I'm kind of on the tail end of my salad stuff. Um, so anyway, yeah. So I have seven days, what did I say? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven days worth of meals right here. So, all right, there we go. I'm gonna pull this, pour this broth into here and I may need another one, but I'll get that done and but that is my quick, lazy method for putting together some meals. And you'll see how I use them through the upcoming weeks. I'll do things like add some G. Hughes sauce or, um, or just some seasoning, whatever I feel like. So 
I'll show you that when we get there to those with these.